Alright guys, before starting this video, I just want to remind you that we currently have a giveaway running on the channel to get both the Object 25 to you and the Chimera. Those are tier 8 premium tanks. But also, if you're interested, we are giving away an another Object 25 to you on the Discord only for members. You will find the link of the in the description of the Discord server, and I hope to see you there. Hello everyone, Pentoof here today for a new video that is gonna be pretty useful for beginners because usually I receive a lot of DMs of people asking me, hey Pentoof, I'm a beginner into this game, I don't know with what line I should start with for pretty much every single class. As you all know we have light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks and tank destroyers. So in this video the, the main goal is to answer to this specific question, I'm a newbie, what is the most suitable tank for each class. So now that it's set up, let's talk about the Object 268, which is for me my favorite beginner tank for newbies to learn how to play tank destroyers. Why is this tank in this list? Pretty much, let's talk about the armor first. You have an extremely angled tank from pretty much everywhere. Therefore, for newbies that don't know much about angling, side scrape, etc, etc, it can be a good alternative because with this tank you're gonna get bounces not a lot of tank destroyers can have due to its extremely well angled armor. And the fact that you have this armor, it will allow you to be less punished for your mistakes, making the tank newbie friendly. That's the first thing. Also, if we talk overall about the tank, you have a good mobility that will allow you to relocate and not to be bored about the playstyle, uh, maybe also avoid being circled, etc. And also, the gun is quite real reliable. Sorry, it's a t yeah, it's a Russian gun. You all know the effect of Russian guns on the matchmaking and on the RNG. It's a great tank overall and definitely my two good tank for newbies if they want to learn how to play tank destroyers. Alright, now let's talk about the second type of class, the heavy tanks. I really hesitated between the Ice 4 and the Ice 7, but finally I decided to talk about the Ice 4 simply because I think the armor on this thing is much more effective. And why is armor so important for newbies? If you're a newbie, you don't really know how armor works, you don't know what angling is, etc. So you need a tank that is already armored and already quite strong in order for you not to take care about angling. So the Ice 4 is made for you. It's the kind of heavy tanks you're gonna make plenty of mistakes with without being actually punished for them. And that's exactly why this tank is on the list. Just look at the 100 bouncing, Sheridan bouncing. Uh, you can do a couple of mistakes without being punished. What else do you need? And also, if you combine that with a good mobility for its overall armor and an amazing gun that is gonna do the trick in terms of penetration, especially with gold shells, you obtain the best heavy tanks and the most competitive one at tier 10 for newbies. Alright now talking about the medium class the best one and really the best one so far in my opinion is the T62A and there are several things that make me believe this tank deserves to be there. First thing first, the turret armor. You have an amazing turret armor, so as soon as you learn some L down position, you're gonna make it quite effective. Second, the mobility. The mobility on this tank is simply amazing. You can relocate fast, you can help your teammates if they're in the back, if you need to come back on another side, etc. This tank allows you to do that. And also, the main thing is the gun. The gun on the t 62 a is a blessing. You have an amazing gun dispersion. You have an amazing reload time. You have a good pen penetration. You have everything you're dreaming of when you're riding a medium tank at tier 10. That's why this tank is on the list, that's why you should get it uh, first and yeah, uh, I know some people are gonna tell me, yeah, is the 140 the same tank because the T-54 leads to both the t 62 and the Object 140. If you're a newbie, go for the t 62 a the tank is overall better since it received the gun dispersion buff because now, uh, the gun depression, not dispersion, because now the t 62 a in my opinion, is the most broken medium tank at tier 10 regarding tech 3 tanks, of course, because because if not, that's the T22 medium. So yeah, overall, a tank you want to have, a tank that will not allow you too much mistakes, but compared to other mediums, this is the one you need when you're a new player. And finally, talking about the last type of class in the game, the light tanks. 
Warning, light tanks are definitely not made for new players. These are for advanced player only. But if you want to try a light tank, and I gotta talk about it because we talk about every classes in the game type of tanks, I mean, you should go for the Sheridan. You have the choice between the Batchat and the Sheridan. The Batchat is an auto-reloading, and it's no match. I mean, the Sheridan has a TGM, so you have an amazing alpha damage, you have an amazing mobility, you have spaced armor pretty much everywhere, so you're not gonna get punished for every single one of your mistakes. No, overall, the Sheridan is the best light tank, and it's not too hard to, to know that, because there are actually only two tier 10 that are light tanks uh, for now, the Batchat and the Sheridan. Maybe the Vickers is gonna come next update. No, it's sure that the, the Vickers is gonna come next update, but I'm doing this video during the 6.9 update, so I don't know if they are gonna implement any other light tanks. But overall, if you have to choose a light tank and you really want one, you should go, if you're a newbie, for the Sheridan. That's the one that is gonna, e even if you play badly, you're gonna have fun with it regardless because of how broken the tank can be sometimes. It's extremely RNG dependent, especially regarding the bounces you're gonna take on your spaced armor. But if you manage to bounce a couple of shells, you're gonna have fun. And yeah, overall, this tank can make things Batchat can't even dream of. So yeah, uh, I don't have any any more information to give. I hope this video will help a lot of newbies to know what they need to go for. I'm gonna leave you there. Hope you are all fine. And don't forget, you're not here to be better, but to be the best. Pentoof, over.